Uh, I'm Malcolm Blake, as Susie mentioned. Uh, I'm from the Kyogre Mountain Bike Club. And my presentation tonight is on the idea of mountain biking and how that can uh, contribute to a healthier and wealthier and uh, more fun Kyogre. Um, I think at this point um, it's always more of an idea because um, the, uh, the club is actually enacting this, this project in some ways. So I'll start by uh, describing what mountain biking is. It's essentially riding bikes off-road. Um, now there's a, it's, it involves quite a spectrum of styles I guess, everything from uh, pretty mellow sort of trails that families can ride, all the way up to sort of more extreme uh, type stuff. Um, so it, it attracts a spectrum of abilities too. Um, the appeal is that it's just very fun. I think a lot of you probably know that uh, riding a bicycle can be quite fun. Uh, and when you combine that with uh, shooting through the bush on some really well designed trails, it makes it uh, even more fun and it's, um, it's great. It's a great thing for, for a range of people. Um, another thing that contributes to the fun and the appeal of mountain biking is well-designed trails. So a well-designed trail has what we call flow. It's where it weaves and sweeps through the undulations of the landscape um, and often requires minimal pedaling. A really well-designed trail and well-built trail is a great thing um, and it's, it's due to that flow that's uh, inherent in the track. Um, trails also incorporate things like berms, um, seesaws, whips, um, drops and jumps. So uh, people who are so inclined to get a bit more, taste a bit more adrenaline can also have, a, um, have fun that way. Um, the bikes that are available these days, modern mountain bikes also make mountain biking sort of easier and more fun. Uh, modern mountain bikes are very light, they have large chunky tyres, big brakes, suspension and so forth. So it makes them easier for riding up hills and going over rough ground and again contributes to that fun factor. There are many benefits to mountain biking. Um, it's a very social activity, or can be, or you can go out and do it by yourself if you like. Um, it gets people outdoors, it gets them connecting with the um, you know, natural environment. Um, it obviously has active lifestyle health benefits. Um, and another, be another benefit is mountain bike tourism. So dedicated mountain bikers will travel to ride good trails and they will travel quite some distance. So inherent in that is the ability for towns to tap into mountain bike tourism if they have uh, well-built trails um, on their doorstep basically. Now there's a number of successful towns around the world that have tapped into this. Uh, this is an image from um, Melrose in South Australia. It's a tiny little town in the, in the southern Flinders Ranges. They have their Fat Tire Festival every year. Um, they've built trails just starting in town, basically going out into the hills. Um, so this tiny little town is able to attract tourists driving up from Melbourne and probably flying in from interstate. Which brings us to Kyogle. Kyogle there on the left, town, and as you can see, a very, very large area of greenery to the east, um, most of which is uh, Boruby State Forest. You can see um, Ferry Mount there just behind town. So we even have a mountain on our doorstep, which is pretty good when you're talking about mountain biking. Um, which brings us to the Kyogre Mountain Bike Club. Here's a couple of our members on, um, on a ride. And here's some trails that we're building uh, up in Boruby State Forest. This is basically just behind town here. Um, so the club was formed in early 2015 with the aim of promoting and building mountain bike trails in the area. Um, we've secured a, a permit from State Forest to occupy this parcel of Boruby State Forest down here outlined in red. It's about um, a 130 hectare parcel and we've got a plan to build about 12 or 13 trails in there, incorporating probably over um, sort of 20 kilometres of trail. So that trail building program uh, commenced in about October last year. We've built um, about three trails so far and we've got some grant funding to finish a fourth. Um, and things are going really well. We've got people coming and participating in our trail building days. Uh, the club is still quite small. We only have about 10 members, but we're getting people along for these trail building days and ride days and so forth. Um, and the trails we're building sort of incorporate what's known as sustainable trail design. It uses these rolling contours, which basically go across the slope. And the idea is to get water uh, shedding off them to the side rather than running along the path and that way you can avoid erosion and minimise, um, minimise your maintenance requirements. Now another key um, aspiration of ours is to link our parcel where we're building trails down here through the back of Ferry Mount where there's a large uh, piece of Crown Reserve there so that they come right into town probably around the lookout somewhere. 
so that people will be able to one day, hopefully, ride all the way from town uh, out to the state forest uh, without going on the road or needing to drive their cars there. So mountain bike trails um, and the development of the sport here bring huge opportunities um, and potential to the town. We can host events, uh, races, uh, club days, um, you know, put Kyogre on the map. And as I said, there's that mountain just behind town which is just itching for a downhill race, finishing in the main street of town. Uh, benefits that we're already seeing, now this is not a photo of our uh, esteemed young Coval High School students. This is a file photo, I admit. Uh, but we are seeing uh, Coval High School uh, doing Wednesday sport up at the trails and I'm seeing uh, youth up there using the trails, which I think that's sort of been most heartening to me in this project, is seeing, seeing the kids up there and getting into it. So where to next? Well, once we finish this fourth trail, we'll have something really worth offering to people. So we'll probably start promoting the trails more widely then. Um, so yeah, moving into next year, probably try and grow the club membership, um, hold a few more club days, maybe some ride events um, to see, see if more people want to get involved. Um, so yeah, that's my presentation. Um, that's mountain biking. That's what our, our club hopes to see uh, for Kyogel. And we feel that it has, it has many benefits uh, to offer the town. Um, so hope that you'll uh, support our idea. Thanks a lot.